are true. On May 18th, 2023, my channel along with many others were simultaneously hacked, hijacked by scammers, and live streaming to thousands of viewers. Among the channels hacked were Sub, Sub's World, Sub and Fletch, The Pals, Coral's channel, believe it or not, and of course, my channel. When it all started, I was dead asleep. I had only been sleeping for like five hours because I stayed up all night past my bedtime like a scoundrel. Sub was the first person to realize because he was online the exact moment things began to go wrong. He tried messaging me, but it was no use. I was not conscious. He was completely locked out of his accounts and there was nothing he could do but sit back and watch. Miraculously, at 9.18, only 28-ish minutes after this all started, I magically wake up. Was it the constant buzzing of my phone? Was it a higher power beckoning me to awaken? I don't know. But for some reason, I get up, I check my phone, and that's when I see all the messages from people trying to tell me what is happening. You know when you're so tired and your brain is still starting up like a cheap push lawnmower? You almost can't see or read or think. That's pretty much where I was at. So I look at my phone and all my brain processes is channel hacked mine too. So I go over to the YouTube studio app and sure enough, I see it. The SpaceX logo. Immediate adrenaline. I scream a word I cannot say on YouTube. I race out of my room, run upstairs to my computer. Me and Sub hop in a Discord call. We're losing our minds. Neither of us know what to do, but I go to YouTube and I see I still have access to my account. I'm still logged in. I instantly go to the creator studio and I stop the live stream. So that's one step in the right direction. But then I hesitate. What if the hackers still have access to my account? What if they see I've sabotaged their stream? And what if they start deleting my videos in retaliation? This is a real concern I had after I stopped the stream. I sat there for like 15 minutes deliberating on what I should do next. Should I try to start to fix my channel manually or should I wait until I can notify YouTube about what's happened? And before we continue, I feel like I should give you some background on who exactly these hackers are. This is not a new phenomenon. It's happened to so many different YouTubers, including but not limited to Linus Tech Tips. He, yeah, happened to him. I know that. Laughability told me about that. That's wild. And when this happened to Linus, they must have really hated him because deleting videos is exactly what they did. I don't even think we were the first Roblox YouTubers that had this happen. We were simply the latest targets in Google's ongoing battle against crypto scammers who hijack YouTube accounts in order to reach as many people as possible with their fake live streams, which always includes Elon Musk and SpaceX who tell you to send them crypto and they will send you back double. But instead of sending you money back, they keep it and that that's basically the scam. That's what it is. It sounds stupid. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds a lot like some sort of RuneScape free armor trimming or gold doubling scam because that's basically what it is. It works in real life. One of the weird things about this is how it all happened at the same time. How could these hackers have access to all these channels at once? Well, the explanation is a lot less impressive than you might think. You guys know I used to be a part of a robot Roblox group called the pals. Well, in this group, we had a manager account that stretched across multiple channels. This account had access to all of them. I just never took the time to remove it after the pals ended because I never thought it was a big deal. Well, it turns out it is a big deal because the manager account was the account that got compromised, which is how they had access to all these channels. How exactly they got past the login screen and two-factor authentication is beyond me. There are videos on YouTube that can explain it way better than I can so I'll provide a link to one of them in the description if you're interested in how this is even possible because I'm dumb I can't tell you I don't know I don't I don't get it I watched one tenth of a Linus Tech Tips video and that's enough for me I it's too big brain so I'm sitting there just me 
and SpaceX. Before long, I remember getting YouTube to do anything for you usually takes hours or even days. So keeping the channel looking like SpaceX HQ and having all the videos privated probably wasn't the best move. So I decided to just change everything back. I removed the hacked account from the manager role on my channel and started with the, the name, profile picture, the banner. And I don't know if you guys have ever had to Google your own profile picture because you forgot to save it. But man, that is an embarrassing feeling. Why did I not save my own profile picture? But after about an hour and a half, I pretty much got everything looking kind of like how it used to, but there was still one little problem. When the channel got hacked, they changed my name to SpaceX, of course. Getting the original sketch name back took a lot longer than I thought it would because YouTube is slow. So when I renamed my channel back, it said it was unavailable or already taken, which it was by me just a couple hours before I got hacked but the internal systems for checking if a name was taken must have not updated fast enough, so it was not letting me change my name back to just Sketch. So I decided to do Sketch with two H's, just so I could get SpaceX off there. Looks a little better than SpaceX, I think. And the problem with doing that is you can only change your channel name twice every two weeks. So that's one name change by the hackers and one name change by me. So I thought I was gonna be stuck as a Sketch. <laughs> for super long, but fortunately, within 24 hours, YouTube was able to restore my old channel name and my custom link to how it was previously. The hackers also gave me an at, which before I did not have at all, so I had to be sketch with five H's for like a day, so that was fun. I had to look like an off-brand Walmart version of myself. You know, working at SpaceX, it was great. It was an amazing experience, but it feels good to be my old self, and to be back doing what I do best, making dumb videos about how I am dumb and got hacked.